you know I had to get the black and red lumberjack trapper hat. The No Fate channel, checking in. Jonathan here with another gear review for you. Today I have from SA Fishing their bucket hats and trapper hats, and we're gonna open these up, see if they are worth the price of admission. Now, if this is your first time to the channel, welcome aboard, crack them. If you got them on this gear series, I just review pieces of clothing, of equipment, of things that I use, and I drop a new video every Sunday at 1 p.m. to help you decide, hey, if it's right for you. Just a little bit about the company first and foremost, SA Fishing. Best known for their neck gaiters. These things are highly versatile. I'm sure these things help the company absolutely skyrocket in 2020 when the Rona hit. You can use these things in all different sorts of ways, and they have a whole host of different styles and motifs. I will tell you, I predominantly use these as neck gaiters to prevent the sun on my neck, as well as uh, over the forehead for when I'm sweating. SA Fishing is headquartered in Florida. They can be found at safishing.com, amazon.com, but they own other companies. So as you can imagine, SA Fishing, that is a fishing motif. They also have a company that sells army motif. The reality is the products are exactly the same. It's just a different website with a different theme on that website. They do a really good job of advertising. So oftentimes they will be the first thing that pops up in any type of like neck gator search. And overall with my experience, I have been fairly happy. They had some shipping delays, of course, because of the Rona back in 2020, when everyone was buying their neck gators as, as makeshift masks. And that did cause a lot of concern. But overall, I have been pretty happy with what I've ordered in terms of getting it for a reasonable price. And I'll talk at the end of today's video how to really capitalize on their savings and how not to kind of get pulled in to some of their stuff that isn't a deal. But let's talk about hats. I am a big fan of wide brimmed hats because as you can probably see, I am anti-sun. I usually try to avoid the sun as much as possible. I have a white wide brimmed hat that I love but it's not white anymore. I've worn it so much, it's a little closer to yellow and there isn't enough bleach in the world to get those stains out. So I thought it would be an opportune time to pick up some new wide brimmed hats. And of course, because the SA Fishing website rewards bigger purchases, you know I had to clear that $50 free shipping threshold. And in New England, winter is never far away. So of course I got some trapper hats. So here is the package that came three wide brimmed bucket hats and three and two trapper hats. And as you can see, that's what the packaging is like. Almost all their stuff comes in a plastic Ziploc bag. So let's start with the trapper hat. All right, let's turn it inside out real quick because of course when you wear a trapper hat, you want to stay warm. So this has some fleece lining around the ears and then it has a nice kind of soft mesh, a uh, soft pad for your head with some insulation in there. And then of course, one of the claims to fame on SA Fishing are their designs. They've got hundreds of different designs in everything that they sell. So if there's a style that you're looking for, rest assured that they probably have it. So I don't know how I look. I can't see myself on camera, but hopefully uh, it looks as amazing as I thought. It does have a little bit of a buckle clip here if you wanna cinch it up around your neck so it won't fall off in the wind. But uh, yeah, I'm sweating just having this thing on. Very, very warm. Um, and for what I paid, which again, we'll talk about at the very end, I think it is fair. I am a big fan of the patterns. And when it comes to winter time, having something that you can throw over your head quickly, be warm and cover your ears is important. You know I had to get the black and red lumberjack trapper hat. Now this does have more of a plaid, kind of softer material. This one tends to be a bit more smoother just on quick feel, but it's the same design buckled under the neck. And of course you get that, that fleece on the sides with um, that little smooth interior. Now these things are warm. I put them on for like two seconds. I'm already about to start sweating. 
Now the bucket hat is what I was really angling for because it is summertime and it is something I specifically need. I will say as far as appearance, it does look pretty close to what the marketing photos made it seem. Typically when you get marketing photos, man oh man, they can be like night and day from what you get in. You do have a little bit of a cinch strap in the back. You got the SA logo on the front and you've got a chin strap as well to cinch it down. Now, one of the problems with wide brim hats in general is quality of material. Oftentimes you get material that is like super, super thick and it's almost not breathable. I'll give you a prime example. Yeah, a wide brimmed hat I've had since I was 16 is this little like Ranger Army, Army Navy store type of thing. Still fits, still works, but it is relatively heavy and I don't usually want to go around wearing like heavy camo because I'm just not living that lifestyle. These are really, really thin now. So that's good in terms of breathability, but it's also cheap in terms of material. I will tell you that it does feel a lot cheaper than I expected based on the photos, but I wasn't expecting anything crazy because I only paid for all three of these bucket hats and these two trapper hats, $55. I was able to clear free shipping and maximize the discounts. They do run tons of promos. This was actually an out of season promo, which has saved me a boatload of money on these two. And these of course are in season, but I was able to get um, some pretty good discounts. So all five came to $55 free shipping. So it is made out of 100% polyester and the top of the hat is thin. Now I don't mind that because I want like a thin material for breathability, as you can imagine, but the brim of the hat has like no life to it. It has no anything to it. It is absolutely like almost non-existent. So super cheap on the rim of the hat, unfortunately. And overall the quality is probably below my expectations, but my expectations weren't that high because of the price points that I paid. Let's check out some of the other colors. Now that is a nice color. The material is of course the same. You've got the SA logo on the front and you've got this wide brimmed hat that again, same 100% polyester, but the quality is probably below what you might expect. And I do think from afar, the hats look nice. You guys can tell me in the comments, do these look nice on me? Um, overall, I'm not disappointed because I didn't pay much, but I wish that the brims had a lot more to them, that were, they were just a little bit more, like, less fake. I, I, I'm really trying to find, find words to describe the fake feeling of these hats. It's almost like a cosplay type of, like, Halloween costume type of feeling. Um, the name of the game when it comes to SA Fishing, what they do well is that they have tons of crazy, awesome uh, colors, designs, and motifs, but they also do a good job on pricing. But again, overall, I think you've got to really make sure that you know to expect lower quality items when it comes to comparison of other items in that marketplace. So when it comes to a bucket hat, you're going to get a bucket hat. It's going to do the job, but it's going to be a low quality bucket hat at that. If you made it this far in the video, you and I are officially Band of Brothers, Tango and Cash. Drop any questions you have in the comments below. And as usual, thanks for watching and don't save anything for the trip back.